Joining us right oh. now in the studio is that same U.S. <laughs> champion, Hall of Famer, the legend, Ray Mysterio. Ray, how are you, man? Very good, guys. Thank you very much for having me here. Um, well, first and foremost, your, your thoughts on being called out by young Logan Paul on such a, such a big stage. Well, the, the, it was shocking because I was watching the fight, too, and to have seen the fight and then heard his, his call out right after it was shocking but he needs to get the facts straight he okay. said he already beat me once uh I'm, i don't recall when that happened wow. i know miz beat me it was miz that that pinned me right i don't think it was logan paul <laughs> and if it wasn't for miz dom and i would have had him pinned and that was at wrestlemania last year a very a very different time in the life of of everybody yes <laughs> yes um but listen I, I can't i can't help but i can't help but have this thought in my head if you go back a year or so, Crown Jewel, Logan Paul got his big shot at a title with Roman Reigns. Could he be eyeing the same for Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel this year? Well, uh, we will all find out, including myself, this Friday on SmackDown in San Antonio because uh, I'm going to be there. I told him I wasn't hard to find. You can find me every Friday night on SmackDown. So I think he's going to make a special trip and, and uh, do it in person. And of all the places that love you, Ray, I have to imagine you are over like Rover in San Antonio every single time. Uh, it's just mi raza. That's it. You know, I love it. I, it's it's weird seeing him because it's my niece Abigail's favorite wrestler. Uh, so the only time I've ever like seen you is the yeah. big fat head she would have in her room <laughs> of you flying in the air. But uh, just uh, just how awesome! Like when you hear yourself get called out like that, does it get you mad? Does it get you like? happy for the exposure does it get you fired up like what's the emotion when you hear logan speak like and do you think in 2023 people were still going to be calling out ray mysterio yeah so, <laughs> so it does get me fired up it, it gets it gets me excited i get that jittery feeling um because i love competition i think that's when i work at my peak when uh when i'm under pressure and there's no more pressure than to defend the title when you're champion um, because I'm not only champion for myself, I represent my people, uh, all the Latinos, all the Hispanos around the world. Uh, the LWO represents all the Latinos and Hispanos around the world. So, um, uh, you know, I got to I got to put up a fight for them and me. And that fires me up. Yo, can you believe that you're still doing it at this level though, Ray? I mean, this is, I was, I was talking, to. Uh, uh, buddy years the other day, Hurricane Helms. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Hurricane is, a, he's a guy behind the scenes now, does a lot of great work within right. WWE as a producer, and he was talking about you guys having matches all the way back in WCW in the Cruiserweight division back in the day. Yeah. He's obviously now moved on, he's in the producer <laughs> yeah. role. You're still here, still looking yeah. like Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Does it ever surprise yourself? Like, did you think you'd still be going at this point? Not really, especially with all the injuries I've had over the years. You know, and the amount of surgeries that I've had just on my left knee, uh, I really didn't think I, I would still be performing. Maybe a little, but not at the level that I am. Uh, but I attribute all of that to, you know, uh, myself understanding and taking care of my body the way it should to still be able to perform. And uh, the benefits of, of stem cells, of the cold plunge, of the infrared sauna, of the red light therapy, um, you name it, massage. Uh, oh, you do it all, huh? Uh, yeah, I got to. Wait, I tell, got hold on. You, you named a few things there. Yeah. Okay. The, you, the, what was the, what was, what did you, you mentioned cold plunge. Cold plunge, yes. I know about that. How often are you doing a cold plunge? I'm doing that every morning when I wake up. In your house? In, in my house. I have it right outside my, uh, my uh, room. I got the sliding door, so as soon as I open that bad boy up, as a matter of fact, I had to fly out. I got home Sun. I got home Saturday after SmackDown, and I rested, saw the fight, and uh, had to leave like at 6:30 a.m. to catch a flight to L.A. to go to the Rams game, and then fly to New York after that. But before I left my house, it was 5:30 in the morning, and my wife goes, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm going in the cold plunge. You're crazy." It was pretty cold in Vegas, so... Wait, wait, for, but it's first thing this... Like, literally, that's, you're... That was... That, that's my... Todd, that's, do you know how cold it is to do that first thing in the morning? I, 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 a cold shower, <laughs> forget about it. I, 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 I can't imagine. It, it I was, mean, that's a big up, though. It was hard at first, trying to convince myself, but once I pass 
that level of not thinking about it, then I'm good. And I had it at 45 degrees, and I finally moved it down to as low as it drops, which is 37. It's 37 degrees, but it always feels like 30. I don't know. It's really cold. And how long do you stay in once you plunge? I'm in there for three minutes. Three minutes after? Three minutes. So I'm in there for three minutes. I go all the way in up to the neck, and then the last, after I hit that three-minute mark, like the last 10 or 15 seconds, I go all the way in, head down all the way underwater for about 10 seconds, 15, and then I pop out. And I'm good to go. You know, they say, Don, it's not just great for you, like, physically, but, like, emotionally, it's supposed to be really good for you, too. Yeah. Like, literal happiness. Because it gives you an, an yeah, endorphin, endorphin rush. Yes, yes. Now, okay, you mentioned the stem cells, too. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Stem cells, uh, I do those. I've been doing them at least once a year. And those are injected directly into uh, the joints. Uh, knees, shoulders, arms, ankles. Uh, the last treatment I did was last year in Tijuana. Uh, CPI stem cells and I was having a hard time with my Achilles both of them they were really tight so when I would wake up in the mornings my first couple of steps and my Achilles would be really bad well like you feel a burn right away so yeah and and I remember talking to, to Scott uh, who's one of the owners I was like man my Achilles are hurting but I'm afraid to get the shots there because I know how bad that hurts he goes ah we'll just shoot it a little so I think they put in five million on each side and I kid you not, within 24 hours, I was good to go. Wow. Yeah. Does, does your son Dominic being involved drive you to stay in this longer? I think it does. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a sense of that that pushes me to keep going. Um, it's a big motivation factor, definitely. Uh, and I think now even more, uh, witnessing his growth, and not from the locker room area, but from home, next to my wife watching them on TV and sometimes we'll look at each other and go could you believe that's our son <laughs> like that's what we and created. you guys are on different shows that's now. what we created it's crazy <laughs> yes yeah um yeah it, it's 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 cool to be able to sit back at home when you don't have it's just a very chill vibe family and and seeing how your son is evolving now aside from the terrible person he's proven himself to be on television <laughs> yeah. with the judgment day yep. all that aside <laughs> uh, you have to just be amazed at what he's become i mean did and did you think it would happen this quickly he's in an awkward spot he comes in right and he's your partner and it's kind of just like everybody cheer it's ray mysterio's son yay yeah and that's cool and that'll last for a little while yep but then it's about what are you going to do? Because you're not Rey Mysterio. Yeah. You're Dominic Mysterio. Yeah. And he has found his own lane completely. Uh, yeah. Did you think he'd be this good? No. I know he was struggling with uh, him being by my side and people expecting to see a version of me within him. But it was very hard, you know. Uh, and a lot of people told him. People that trained him, Lance Storm being one of them, you could never try and fill your dad's shoes in because you're not him. You got to create your own path. And um, I would tell him a couple times, you know, Dom, you got you to gotta pick up on this. You got to do this better. You got to pick up the speed here. And he would listen. I mean, he, he's been learning from the best. Cena, Roman, Seth, the Usos. Like, these are all guys that already passed and moved on and he's been able to work and engage with them so he's like a like a three or four year old like a little sponge he's absorbing everything that he all the information that he gets and he's storing it down and he's using it when necessary but i i honestly never thought neither my wife because we talk about it we never thought that his growth would be this big at this stage it's been a year since he's turned heel yeah and he's been on his own that's the best thing that could have happened to him. Yeah, he's he's been. You gotta watch this guy, yeah. Dom. He's he, best thing. Best thing. That it's could it's happen. it's phenomenal. Well, dirty Dominic. That's right? that's dirty Dominic. <laughs> Mullet and all. Um, it's been amazing. Now, one you you were inducted into the Hall of Fame last year. It it was a great moment. And one part of your speech that I thought was incredibly touching was when you talked about your wife supporting you while you were gone pursuing your dream. Mm -hmm. um, how amazing was it to get to share that story with the world? And 
What can you just say about this woman and, and how long she has been riding by your side? I mean, it's, it's a pretty amazing story. She's she's definitely the ride or die girl that that is with you with when it's good or when it's bad or when it's at worst. Um, no, it's it's been like God put us together for a reason. How old were you guys when you met? I was fifteen. And she was 17. She took advantage of me. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's probably, she might have been three inches taller than you, too. Oh, she was. <laughs> yeah. And we clicked right away. We knew there was chemistry right away. Uh, it was a beautiful thing. But, but uh, she, she uh, I don't know why. Well, I should, say, I should say I do know why. Because I've asked her, How, why did you believe in me? She goes, because I loved you. That's why. My love believed that you could do whatever you wanted to do. That's why. Imagine how hard it was for her telling her mom, Mom, I'm going to put my school aside so I can help my boyfriend pursue his career because I need to work and send the money. Literally sending you money while you're in Mexico, I, I right? I would tell my, what are you crazy? <laughs> no, you're not leaving yeah, school. Yeah, if your daughter no, did that yes, now. No. Yeah. No. So, uh, like all those uh, moments that happen, just build up this beautiful relationship and foundation within both of us. That she—that's exactly what she would do. She would. Uh, she left. She put school aside. She was already one semester in, I believe. She was uh, practicing medicine, and she was already going to the university. Uh, and she put everything aside to help me out. But once I started, it's like she got caught up with work, and and uh, everything just got so. It tangled, and I was traveling so much that uh, we said one day we'll go. We'll go back to it, you know, and you can revisit. But our life just started to change, you know. Um, Mexico, then ECW, WCW, and then we get married. We start a family, and it just our lives evolved so fast that uh, she never got time to go back to put in the work for school. But here's the beautiful thing. Dominic following in my footsteps and we're all witnessing his growth and living it and my daughter is 22 her passion is medicine and she just started her classes with UCSD wow and she's about three weeks in and she wants to be a pediatrician wow. so it's like, wow, it doesn't get any better than that. that no, that is amazing. Both your kids following their following yeah. parents. No, was, was Dominic your first? Dominic was our first. Yeah, so uh, I had my, first, my my kids at 49. You're going to be in your mid-40s. And, yeah. God, you're having kids I, in your early started, 20s. Uh, yeah, I was 20. I was 21 going on to 22. So when wow. you did the story with Dom and Eddie, you were like in your mid-20s, that's it? Late no, 20s? Uh, so that was... That was 05? 05. So I was... Uh, I don't know, 30? Yeah, 29. 30. 29, 30. Yep. Oh, and he, yeah, because Dom was already like seven, eight years yes, old, right? Uh -huh. Yep. By the way, Dom, I, I interviewed Dom a few months back. He blamed you for the um, blonde hair. <laughs> he said that was you. He also said, I, I asked him, what was your first memory of traveling with your dad? Mm -hmm. And he said, my first memory is that we got on a plane and my dad flew first class and he made me sit and coach. <laughs> he is lying. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a beautiful thing, because, um, you know, when he started working for the company, he wasn't getting first class. You got to you gotta work for that. You got to earn it. Yeah. Uh, I know. I don't get first class. <laughs> I said, how crazy is that, huh? When you were younger, they flew you first class with me. <laughs> but now... You got to work for it, son. So, yeah, yeah, you can't jump yeah. on the totem pole that quick. <laughs> no. Um, no. All right, so Friday night, we'll probably get a clear direction on SmackDown of what the future is for Rey Mysterio and Logan Paul. Well, I know the future for Rey Mysterio is uh, still, and still, United States champion. Um, but I do, I do want to hear what he has to say and uh, what his proposition is. When does he want to do this? Because I'm always up for a challenge. And... Uh, that's why you're the champion. That's you right. You want to take newcomers. You want to take challenges. So um, besides Santos, who was my last opponent, this will be my uh, 
my second defense. All right. Well, I mean, coming up in the next month and a half, we got Crown Jewel, we got Survivor Series. Yeah. There's a lot of things to happen. By the way, big shout out to um, Zelina Vega, who's uh, and her family, LWO fam here in yep. New York. Yep. Uh, Ray, you always have an open invitation to anything I do. We appreciate you coming by, man. Thank you guys very much, man. The legendary Ray Mysterio. This Friday night on SmackDown, him and Logan Paul will see what's what. And guys.